car again. We got at my house, we got about 10 inches of snow two days ago. And it looked like it snowed pretty good here too. So yeah, just come to check out to see how the, the roof held up. But uh, I got it almost papered up before the storm. I actually ran out of the paper uh, without any time to, to get anything else on. Just ran out of time. But, um, you can see where it blew in. The back window pretty heavy. Anywhere that was facing the north, uh, we got some snow on that. Uh, upstairs is mostly dry. There's a couple places where all the melting's occurring. The crickets. I was unable to get the crickets uh, buttoned up before before the snow came. So, all right, guys, it is Monday. Last week was kind of a wash with a big snowstorm. We got about 10 inches at the house here. It's mud level insanity. I can barely get up my road. Uh, highlighting the need to go ahead and get that thing finished and rocked over. Um, just waiting on the grader. It's been too wet or too cold. Uh, first chance I get, we'll, we'll try to get that buckled up. But uh, yeah, so I got one last roll of paper I ran out the other day. And with this last roll of paper, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dry this puppy in. Then we won't have to worry about the rain anymore. So looking forward to that. So for now, up on the roof. I'm over here at the property, and I just wanna let you know that I just got the paper finished. So I'm up here on the ridge. Uh, you kinda see the panoramic, give you the 360 view. Everything up here looks good. Hope it looks good from down there. It's like a little momentous occasion on a house when you finish the paper. But um, yeah, if you don't like heights, this is not the job for you. I don't worry about heights. Uh, I'm not even worried about falling. Uh, I'm just a little bit worried about that sudden stop at the bottom. There you go, oh boy! <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's good gun. There you go. So we got the boxing done. Whoop, tripping over hoses. Looks pretty good. So, uh, we're pretty happy with that. Now we're gonna go inside and uh, finish up the inside. I'm gonna introduce you to Enrique. Enrique is the man. Why don't you say hey to the camera, Enrique? And of course, you know Chris from the other day. <laughs> There's millions of people watching this. You should say something. Uh, good morning, good morning. Good morning this is Enrique's first time on camera. Do you feel awkward, Enrique? Okay, so basically we're done framing. 
Uh, you can see in the background. We're just waiting on windows. They might come today or tomorrow. There's really nothing else we can do right now in there. Uh, so my Uncle Matt's crew still had a couple days between jobs, so I figured I'd put them to good use. Uh, they can make a little money, I can get some stuff done. So what we're doing today is, as you can see these woods, there's some deadfall, kind of ugly. So we are going, basically cleaning up the woods and stacking all the wood alongside the driveway where I'll come back and uh, do something with it later. Just get it all out of there. You can see it looks so much better. Well, maybe you can't because you didn't see it before. But apparently, the about four or five years ago, there was a big ice storm and um, it dropped a lot of the, a lot of trees in there, kind of ugly, kind of looked like a little blowdown. But um, so we got it, we got it going on, just kind of chopping them into stuff we can haul it up to the road in, clearing out the trash, not really thinning the woods out, but just kind of cleaning it up so it looks pretty. So that's what we got going on today. And I need to keep talking on this like I, like I said before, because it looks like work. A little bit sketchy. The road is not in good repair. We got this machine trying to get up there with the windows. Oh man, gonna be ugly. I think we're good though. He's doing pretty well. Oh baby. <laughs> the man is, I'm gonna have to buy you guys breakfast. Much better than walking them up, huh? Yeah. Just absolute slop out here. You can see the soup we made. We got the windows up here. Oh man, it's muddy. So, it's all right. I gotta get the rock in. It's just been too wet or cold for the grater. It's getting, uh, it's getting bad. All right, I'm here with Enrique and the boys. What do you say, Enrique? <laughs> a little bit muddy. Enrique loves the Stay camera. He loves the camera. <laughs> yeah. No, not feeling it. So we got all the windows in here. We got Derek. What do you say, Derek? It's your chance to be famous. Millions are watching. Anything you want to tell the world? He said, don't do this. I'm not sure if that means film him or become a carpenter. <laughs> That's a heavy window. All right, so I just got this window set for boys. Had three of them on a the ladder, two of us inside pushing it up. It's done. They're nailing off, they're gonna tape it. Put the bottom one in after they take the scaffold down and uh, everything else will be easy. That's a pretty heavy little window. Uh, we have these like 103 windows I was going to put vertically in the wall here in that third bay on both sides. Kind of like a castle turret window look. Uh, but my wife wanted another window in this bedroom. The problem is it's hard to put a bed in here and put another window in that wall. So I started the uh, remodel. I'm remodeling and I haven't moved in yet. But we're going to put a little window at the top where you can still put a bed under there or a desk let a little more light in. I think it looked pretty good. Well, uh, we were able to move past our sardine incident. I got Ben out here and I got all these brush piles down the road. Uh, we started hauling but it's just too sloppy. It's frozen now but then as soon as it thaws a little bit it gets muddy. So we figured well, let's just burn the stuff. So I went and got a burn permit and uh, Ben's piled this first stack, so we're gonna just make little piles down the road and 
burn this stuff out of here. What do you think, Ben? It's going to be good. Have you ever burned a pile of wood like that? Yes. He's excited. We, we hauled one to the, to the gully, one load. <laughs> Once. And uh, you can see he kind of played along, but it's not what he wanted to do. He, he came for the fire. So <laughs> well, Let's light it up. Let's just burn it. So Ben, he's the fire master over here. He's having a good time. What do you say, Ben? That's good. This is what engineering fun. students do for fun. They they burn things. Yeah, just get rid of stuff. So uh, this is number five. Good coal bed. Now it's just a matter of keeping enough wood on it to keep them fired up real good. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. Good luck with that. Remember, you're getting married in a month. Don't throw your back out now. <laughs> Fire number one, way up there, just a, just some coals and ashes now. We kind of push it back up on itself and before long, this one's getting up and out of here right here. Before long, we just have nothing but a pretty look at all the smoke all right so here we are uh, got my truck fired up because I'm off to go get some McDonald's and some Wendy's we got the fire here got Pedro what do you say little man give me some skin yeah he's a little hungry but he's been helping I got Judah he's gonna watch the fire that's all that's left we've got everything on it now we're just burning it down and uh, Kind of moving stuff around every now and then uh, when we need to get it on there. So, of the six fires, we're down to, to four. Won't be long, we'll be done with this thing. So that's a long day right there. But it's almost over. It's a good day. Ugh. Always something to do out here. Yeah. Yeah, I might try to do that. He wants me to get marshmallows. That only makes sense. So here we go, let's get some food. So it's been a fast and furious four or five days for me uh, with rain, windows, getting some plumbing going, finishing the framing. Uh, but all the windows are set. Uh, got the garage there, a couple studs open. I've got the last tub shower unit coming in today and the plumbers are gonna set that upstairs. And I'll be able to button that up. As you can see the windows in the dining room, all that's looking good. Got the back porch. Living room here. That's the view as you walk in the front door. You can kind of see everything. Uh, the, the plastic makes it a little ugly now, but these two windows and the door are not here yet. We'll be coming in the next couple of days. Um, got the master bedroom. I closed the door in. I decided against the deck out the back. Uh, seemed like that was kind of half and half on what people wanted, but living in this house 
where I'm at now for the last 10 years, I've never wanted to be able to go out a door right there and sit on a deck. So we almost put it in the last house. We didn't. Thought maybe we'd miss it. Haven't missed it. Uh, by the time I do the deck, and I'd want to put a little roof over it, by the time I did all that, um, you're probably looking at, you know, it'll be several thousand more dollars, so we decided to save it. So, uh, got my shower, got the tub unit uh, boxed out, all that's done. Um, there's the tub there, the plumber's going to set that today. So, button up the last details, here's the two windows. Of course the plastic's hanging over, you can't see out yet. Uh, that's for the uh, brick, that'll be cut away later. And uh, that kind of made the room look pretty good. You can put a desk there, I could build a bookshelf over it. Um, there's a lot of different things you could do. It just lets a little more light in, opens the room up. And the trophy room, uh, just missing the one window that was broken from the factory, so as soon as that gets here, I'll put that in. Got my three-quarter plywood, at least some of it. You may notice this little uh, fur out on the walls from there up. Uh, I three-quarter plywood all the walls after insulation before drywall so that uh, with all my deer mounts and caribou and whatever else I got going up on there, I don't have to look for a stud with a nail. I just nail anywhere on the wall and, uh, and I got to hang it right there. I made that mistake on my first house, fixed it on the last house. Um, so yeah, that's a definite if you've got a bunch of animals to hang up. The reading nook is probably, to be honest, probably my favorite space in the house. You kind of see out this window. I have a little chair here, probably a, maybe a little lamp, a little tool, a table or something right there. And you can also see out the back window. I'll have a feeder out there for the deer. So um, I can hunt like a civilized person from my reading nook. But uh, good. my son's room, all finished up. This whole room is for him. He's into snakes and lizards and stuff like that. So we got him a, a nice little end of the room here with all these windows. Let a lot of light in for his animals, but this uh, the glass doesn't really let in heat. So it shouldn't cook his animals, which is, you don't want to sit your animals in a window and cook them. You just want them to maybe get a little sunlight every now and then. I have one regret on the house. You know, my Uncle Matt was over here. And we we're looking at it. He came up with the idea. I should have put a small dormer here. Uh, just even with that wall right there. Gone up and just put a little transom window or something. Just to let a little light in here. Somewhere on that wall would have been really nice. And I'm halfway thinking about doing that. I need to do it quick if I'm going to do it. I, it probably will not happen. Because I think later this might be a cinema room after the kids go. If we stay here that long. That's what I could bill it as anyway. But that would have been really cool. Oh well. Next time, right? Uh, the bonus room. Don't know what we'll do with this yet. It's where I house River Kings before trip, probably. And uh, that's what I'm doing with it now. So yeah, uh, you can see the fireplace has been moved to the left 16 inches. Uh, the, it has a clip up in the corner, which is why I had it to the right to begin with, because I, I was trying to avoid that situation. But I don't think it's really going to be an issue. I'm going to have some big beams and stuff in here uh, for posts some beams on the ceiling and I think I can make that look pretty good I don't think you'll notice it uh, Tron didn't like it at first but or she doesn't like it uh, period but uh, it was better than it was better than the fireplace kind of being too far to the right it felt like it wasn't part of the room so as we're sitting back here on our couches it's actually in this room now before it was like it, it felt like a shy seventh grader at a dance trying to get out of the dance floor it's kind of felt awkward. You don't want awkward in a house. So yeah, so that's what's been going on. Uh, I got my plumber. He's been cranking it up. He's about halfway done. And he's coming back right now to uh, keep moving on that. I'm meeting a roofer out here in just a little bit. Uh, the lumber company's coming. They're going to take all my extra wood back, clean this yard up, and 
then I got to go at some point today and help Pat do a pergola. He's got a little project going. He needs a little help getting that started. So first daylight, then I got a little cabinet job I got to do for another customer. So I kind of crawled out from under the big hole of framing where I just put everything else on hold. Of course, got the driveway all cleared off. So it looks uh, it's looking good around here, keeping on moving. Before you know it, I'll be busy again. There's just nothing left. It's beautiful now. And uh, that's kind of the objective here. Not to thin the forest out, because I like woods, but it's just, it just looked, uh, I didn't like all the blowdowns that were in the woods. I want a manicured forest. Yeah, there we are. A lot of work. Getting closer.